Hello and welcome back to LP's LP's. I am LP and today we're continuing our LP of Mother 3. Last episode we saved fuel and lighter from a fire and that sounds interesting once you put it all together. And today I think we're going to go check on our family because they're supposed to be coming through the forest as well. Clint, you should probably head back home and check on things. Oh. Well, maybe not. Maybe I, I, I'd go back to my home. Why would I go back to my home? I thought that that my, my, my children and my wife were coming from the forest and there was a scream or something. But maybe I'm going the wrong direction entirely. I don't know. Let's check the map real quick. Okay, we're right by our house. Our house should be just down and around this corner. There's our sheep! You can smell them. They smell disgusting. Uh, there's the pup, and of course, our trust, our trusty pigeon. Who, oh, that's the messenger bird, isn't it? It's a letter from Eve. Dear Clint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Steve is as daring and full of energy as ever, while LP is still a bit coddled. But neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmanian Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. And a shower. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so that we can all come up here as a family. Steve, LP, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite eggs right away. With love, your dearest Eve. Well, it is technically the evening. Shouldn't they be here by now? As Isaac mentioned, I believe, last episode, he heard a scream in the forest. So I'm really kind of itching to go investigate that. We return inside to continue reading the same letter. Oh, hey, there's Isaac. Well, what's up, buddy? Want to have some eggs with me? Oh, they're still not back. With all this rain, they could catch cold. I'll go and find them. They're probably taking shelter from the rain somewhere. It's getting late, so we should all go look for them. Let's get the other villagers to help, too. First fire, now rain. There's just always natural disasters to watch out for here. Okay, I'll go tell my dad then. All right, well, back to exactly what I planned on doing, which was investigating for the children. Oh, oh, please take me with you. I'm sure I'll be helpful. Take Rat with you. Yes, of course. We need a good hound. Rat joined your party. All right, do we have some, like, T-shirts or socks or something? Maybe we can... I mean, I know he's not a bloodhound. But maybe you can pick up the scent somehow. He's got a good sniffer. He's a canine after all, and they have a, a great sense of smell. In fact, every dog I've ever met has had a nose. So take that for what you will. Uh, I think the direction we want to go is exactly where I just came from, but I'm curious if we can check in these places yet. No, it's still too late to bother people. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm just a night owl. And what are you doing, Thomas? Let's cut him off real quick and we can speak to him. Ugh, nearly had him. We'll just wait right here. He's, he's sure to come right back around, I think. Yep, there it is. Gotcha. This is bad, real bad. Even the kids still aren't back. Yeah, that that's that's correct, dude. So instead of like wasting all your energy do, doing cardio here in the town square, why don't you come out into the forest with me and good old rat here? Looks like everyone went to the prayer sanctuary. I really want to help you out, honest. I'm totally just the guy to help you out. I want to help you out. I'm the guy to help you out. Then proceeds to leave. Make it make sense, please. Okay, where do we have to go to get to the sanctuary? Um, 
Wow, this map is actually pretty big. So we are where that red dot is flashing. I just like pointed pointed to my screen as if you could see that. <laughs> you can see it. Maybe I'll circle it or something and post. Anyways, so we're there. I think we need to go west from this map square. I think the, pray the prayer circle is like where that church was. Hey, let's talk to the giant. Maybe? No? Okay, well, he's got he's got dots above his head. He's got nothing to say. All right, buddy. Well, you could adjust your glasses. Very nice. Like, I'm going to talk to this bird. The bird's going to be friendly. Sparrow advice. For this little bit, I'm going to use game lingo rather than comparisons. You can bring up the menu by pressing start, starting from the left. The menu... So I don't get... You, you've, you've told us this. I do appreciate, you know, it's a, it's a helpful bird. Helpful birds, of course, are better than the alternative, but this is not necessarily new information, so I am just mashing the uh, the B button. No, no no explanation, Kapoor Gabor. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. Okay. So we go west, I believe, and then we'll proceed north. I'm curious to see if there's anyone else. There's the sparrow. Here's some people. Is this the search and rescue crew? Oh, there you are, Clint. I asked everyone to split up and search the forest for Eve. You've been blessed with kind friends. That must be true happiness in one sense. Huh. I mean, I guess. We're kind of like a small community, right? I think it makes sense that we're all kind of concerned when like 10% of the village is missing. <laughs> you saw how everyone got up in arms over fuel and lighter. Brr. Oh, that's cold rain. Well, I don't like it. It doesn't seem like it's ever going to stop. Wow, ne never. The rain will never stop. You're right. This is <laughs> this is true. Hey, nuts. Delicious. Rat got a nut. Oh, thanks, buddy. Why do you why do you have the nut? Let's check goods. Is it because I am over encumbered? It would look like that's the case. I just have nuts and nut bread flowing out of my pants. It's incredible. Uh and he's got a white collar and a single nut. The white collar, offense and defense, plus 10. We can't, like, trade that out, can we? And put a collar on, on Clint here. <laughs> Eve promised she'd teach me how to make delicious eggs. I mean, I can do that. Step one, eggs. Step two, heat. Congratulations, you've done it. All right. Uh, no sooner we finish that conversation, we accosted again by Mr. Batty. I'm gonna hit you with a stick, dude. I swear to God. All right, and rat, what can he do? He can sniff? What's this bat smell like? Rat sniffed Mr. Batty. Smells like an animal. Smells weak against fire. Smells weak against strangeness. Okay, that's helpful though, knowing that uh, the dog can sniff out weaknesses like that. I'm probably not really gonna do that very much going forward, but that'd be helpful in like boss fight instances or tougher battles. 20 experience points. Does the dog level up? Is the dog going to be a long-term party member? Sunshine Forest ahead. Beware of poisonous snakes. Well, we do have a single antidote. And apparently Isaac has some as well for us. I don't know where Isaac is. I think we left Isaac back in town. Uh, potentially at the inn, I think. Whoa, two hits, rat. Look at that. Rat's a hungry boy, just chewing on bats. He's like Ozzy Osbourne. Clinton Company, 20 more XP. Can we go inside this house now? We can. There's Isaac. Give me an antidote. Why not? I'm in the middle of slowly but surely devising a plan for finding Eve. What, what is this plan? And why is it not just get outside and search the forest? <laughs> what other plan could there be, man? And hold up. What's this on your table? There's a lot of antidotes inside the box. Take one. Yeah. Give it to my dog. He's like a St. Bernard. Instead of a keg full of whiskey on his neck, he's just got a keg full of antidote. Oh, and the bat has respawned. Interesting. Um, I guess we could go to the west and heal in the little pond. How much HP are we even missing, though? I Clint leveled up. Hey, look at that. Offense by three. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to double check our status here just to be certain. We're only missing 13 for Clint and... 19 for rat, which is actually kind of a lot. Eh, you know what? We'll be fine. Let's just press forward. Attack another bat. 
because we're just eliminating all of these things as if they're the cause of our woes, but I guess really they're the ones attacking us, aren't they? So it's fine. We're just defending ourselves. They could be vampires for all we know. The dog leveled up to seven. A decent amount of points there for offense and defense, which is exciting. He already had pretty high offense for a level uh, lower than Clint like he was. What is that? Whoa, that's a pumpkin. Oh, that's scary. I'm going to talk to this person first. Eve seems to have a good head on her shoulders. Not you, though. You're pretty careless, so I bet you forgot to bring antidotes with you into the forest, despite the fact the place is teeming with mighty bitey snakes everywhere. Here, you can have one of my antidotes. If you don't think that'll be enough, you can always get some more at Isaac's house. Well, we've got three. Thanks for your confidence, lady. Uh, there's one of the snakes, but I'm going to fight this jack-o'-lantern first. A baked yam monster. Okay. Look at that. They can survive fire. Let's power smash it, and you can chew on it. All of the strength behind the attack, and it missed! Great. Great. Now it's just normal attack. Smash attack from the dog. Not enough to kill it. Still, wow. Is this... It's stronger now that it's been cooked. The application of heat, of flames, which would ordinarily destroy any organic material has actually made this one tougher. Imagine that. Imagine that. And we can go this way now. Wasn't this the way that the uh, the pig man went? There was like big flames right here? Or was this further up? I'm not certain. We'll see as we move forward. But first we're going to defeat this serpent. It's actually quite scary looking. Let's hopefully get a power smash on it. Oh, I have an... Uh, I want to sniff it. I want to sniff this snake, but I think it's probably better just to attack it. Because what are we going to learn? Like, it's weak against some sort of element that we can't do anything about. So, yeah, no, I don't I don't see the point. But it's actually weaker than the baked yam monster. We kicked that thing's butt in record time. Very nice. We even got more XP out of it as well. But we're also dying. I think we're in a safe spot here, though, so we're not going to eat our nuts just yet. We'll talk to these folks. I didn't realize it before because the flames were so intense at the time, but it looks like this area over here got hit really bad by the fire, too. Yeah, this is actually where that person went. Let's check out this woman. Don't worry, Clint. With all these people looking, I'm sure we'll find them soon. Let's have faith and keep searching. Thanks, Nan. Uh, ooh, what's this rock? The rock looks curious, but I guess it's nothing. Oh, there's another snake. Oh, there's a few snakes. Goodness gracious. You know what? Let's eat. Let's eat some bread. Uh, 30 HP? Use that on rat. It's really convenient how in Mother 3, this was not the case in Mother 1 or 2, you'll, you'll select an item to use it, and it'll pull up their stats, right? Like you can see Clint's HP and PP there, so that we know who we need to give this to. Obviously, we could give it to either since it only heals 5, but I'm going to give this to Clint and call it good. And then I'm going to go north a little bit and maybe battle a snake or two? I don't know. I'm going to kind of avoid them for a second. I just want to see what's up here. There's another baked uh, yam. Is there any presents or anything good up here? A lot of baked yams. We're going to go all the way up to Lighter and Fuel's house. Just in case there's any, any sort of goodies for us. Hey, what is this? The house I was secretly living in burned down. Whee. We following you? Guess I have no choice but to hit the road. Oh. I mean, you can come with us, little guy. I mean, we, we're we friends with animals, clearly. And I do keep sheep, but I've also got a dog. And it's a, it's a diverse group. You should really consider it. I'm not certain how effective you'd be in combat, but maybe... I don't know, maybe you could bite someone, spread the bubonic plague to them. It'd be excellent. What say you? Won't you give you one more try? No? All right, see you later, buddy. I'm so sorry that your house burnt down, but it was out of my control. All right, yeah, monster. Did we touch it? We did touch it, okay. And we're just going to hit bash because that seems like it's the best uh, chance we have. Uh, swinging the stick is helpful as well, but it seems to be a little bit less accurate. And at this point in the game, I'm just going for reliability. And Rat leveled up. Look at that. HP by 5. Excellent. Uh, and we got a present out of it. Nut bread? 
A baked yam! Ooh! Look at this! It's thanks friggin' giving! Where's the turkey? And hey, there's an NPC we hadn't spoken to up there. Uh, he's got a sweet sun hat, which is probably great for the weather, and we one-turned the Mighty Body Snake. Okay. I see you, Clinton Rat. You're getting tough. You're getting strong. They probably had a bowl of nails for breakfast this morning. About your step. It's easy to lose your footing and slip around here. In indeed it is. I, I can imagine so. It's very moist. I slipped and fell just a minute ago, but I'm okay. Well, that's good. You know, there's nuts lying about. You can always just feast upon one of those and gain back 5 HP. It's an idea. I don't necessarily know how it works for you NPCs. You know, what do you have? Uh, HP meters at all, I'm not certain. But, there are nuts. <laughs> so be aware. Be aware of the nuts. And there goes the yam monster. Hopefully we get another, you know, sweet potato out of that. That would be nice. But we don't. Let's actually, speaking of which, take a second. See what that is. 40 HP. Very nice. How are you doing, rat? You need another loaf of bread. Eat that. And we got a nut here that I'm keen on using on Clint. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're in good shape so far. And I'm just going to keep fighting these guys. I don't know how entertaining it is, but I think it's important to, uh, well, as the game told us, to not avoid too many fights, right? It's good to have XP. It's good to have levels, especially, I'm sure, later in the game when things actually get tough. Because all of this so far has been pretty easy. Clint leveled up. HP by 6. Very nice. Everything else by 1. Not super exciting, but it's fine. We got the scoop on this snake here. We have yet, I think, to fight an enemy when they have backup. Right? Three hits! Wow, rat! Goodness gracious, you're even playing around, puppy. Uh, but I'm used to an Earthbound... Like how we just snuck up on that snake and there was another snake within the frame. I expected that other snake to run in and join the battle, but that's not a thing? Maybe it's just not a thing yet in this game. I don't know. How are we on health after that? I think we just lost a decent amount. Clint's missing 12. That's fine. They're both missing 12. Look at that. What a coincidence. I think we're both all right. Let's continue west now and see if we can find our family. Oh, no. Look at this fella. They've been... They've been in the medicinal herbs, clearly. A fire, then rain, and then children smiles. It'll be all right. Oh, Reggie knows it. Ah, <laughs> yes. Um, thank you, Reggie. All right, I'm going to kill this yam yeah monster. And then I guess the snake, too? Why not? I don't know. We keep we keep gaining levels, and we have plenty of nut bread to, to fuel our rage. Oh, he made a scary face. The dog dodged the face somehow, whatever that means, but <laughs> curious what that would have done. It probably would have made him flinch, is my guess. Got another baked yam, which is good because that's even stronger than the bread in terms of HP regeneration. We get behind it? I think we did. Yep, the green screen should have cued me off first. And this might, yep, just as I thought. It gives us the opportunity to eliminate the mighty bitey snake in the very first turn, before the snake itself even had an attempt to defend itself. Kind of sad, right? But hey, not really, because we're the good guys. We can go south. We could also go north. I'm going kind of far south, though. Uh, maybe this is a dead end. There's a present, and it is a dead end. Okay, well, let's check the present. It got inside of it an antidote. A couple NPCs here. Let's hurry and find Eve so she can make us some of her special eggs. Special eggs. The forest still smells burnt. Well, I guess it was a pretty big fire and all. I mean, yeah, it was just like 20 minutes ago too, dude. It going it going to smell burnt for a long time. <laughs> oh, there's burnt crap everywhere. What do you expect, buddy? Including this monster. Though the monster different than the trees. The trees did not grow stronger when they were fried. Just this demon. The enemy left a present. We keep on accumulating all... I, so I like this. Uh, it seems that this game, thus far, I guess it's too early for me to draw any definitive conclusions about what it is and isn't yet. 
uh, has, has given us a lot more healing items early on, right? Like, it is constantly handing us nuts, nut bread, and now baked yams. I mean, I guess we are taking a healthy amount of damage as well. But it's nothing crazy. I don't know. Maybe the game's just lulling me into a false sense of security, and soon enough it's going to stop giving us those uh, those healing items, and then we're just going to really be in the troubles. Steve, the troublemaker. Say that he's hiding around here somewhere, watching us worry our heads off. But Elpy's a crybaby, so I bet he's probably in tears by now. That's my children, you hag. Put a little respect on their names. Uh, oops, almost met, almost missed my yam. And there's the snake. There we go. That's what I expected. Now we get two of them. So, does my brute force swing? Yes, it does hit both of them. What if I do a power smash? Oh, it didn't even let me pick. I'm not certain that the power smash would hit both of them. Strengthen up, toughen up. Yeah, let's just swing. Do it. And you bite the yeah monster because it's stronger. Mighty Betty Snake bit with the venomous fangs to Clint. Uh, I don't think we've been poisoned yet. I have to expect that it would cue us off, right? Like it would say, hey, you've been poisoned. And it hasn't done that just yet, which is nice. We have all this antidote. We haven't had to use it. That kills the yeah monster and presumably the snake as well. It did indeed. Very well done, gentlemen. The two of you make a solid team. Gain 70 XP, leveling up Rat as a result. Anything particularly interesting? Uh, a few twos, and we got a present. A yam? No, an antidote! Nice! I mean, we didn't need it, but it's good to have. Speaking of yams, though, let's double-check status real quick. Uh, missing 30. Missing 24. Yeah, this is a good time of any to eat. The nut bread can go directly to Clint. And are there any more nuts? Yeah, you've got a nut. You eat that nut, rat. Okay, very good. Continuing on. More yam monsters. It's, uh, it's hard to avoid. I have to kill it. I'm so sorry. I was going to let you be, but my innate veggie senses were tingling. I can't let any evil vegetables sit idly by unaccosted. You know, it's just, it's just not right. I learned a lot from Veggie Tales. You, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta kick the bad vegetables right in the face. It's just laws of nature. I don't know, man. I don't make the rules. Forty-two XP. I think there was a present over here. There is. Is it an antidote? No, beef jerky. Hmm. Let's examine that real quick. Carefully sun-dried meat it restores sixty HP. Wow. That's a good healy boy. That's a real solid healing item. I'm coming for you, snake. Don't think we got, no, we did not get the scoop on it, but it's fine. We're getting strong. Look at that. Rat was probably close to killing it himself. Either which way, though, we eliminated it in the first turn. That lets us move on. Clint leveling up to 12. Goodness gracious. HP by 7, too. That's a solid gain. This is like three or four levels each already this episode. Impressive, boys. The present forest, a mini, mini charm. What do we have here? Presumably something for us to equip, I'd have to imagine. To be equipped on the body, defense plus two. All right, we're going to give that to Clint. Uh, give that... To, oh, Clint's inventory is full. We can't do like a trade, like a swap. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's give the mushroom to Rat. And then Rat can give the charm to Clint. And go over here to equip. Does this go on the body? does. Defense plus two. Very nice. What's up, NPCs? I'm sure Steven LP will come racing here before long to have some of those slightly unclean and not very tasty cookies of mine. Slightly unclean. What kind of cookies are you serving my children? We've been calling their names for a while, but there's been no response at all. Do you think maybe they're not in this area? Yeah, that, that would probably be right. Why don't we press forward, huh? Why don't we <laughs> why don't we move on and check somewhere else, perhaps? Eve's father lives right past here, but... But what? Actually, it looks like someone went and snapped these in half. Not lightning. But that can't be possible. Clint, what should we do? Oh, 
Thunder. And those look like claw marks. I can't believe my eyes. Just look at this, Clint. These huge trees were snapped right in two. Indeed they were. Now, why would you all say that that looks like someone did it and not lightning? I get it that there might not be lightning scars on it, but that doesn't look like a person did it. <laughs> how, how could such big trees get ripped down like this? There's one thing for sure. Whoever did this wasn't human. And no, it wasn't me. Well, there we go. At least, at least they're now coming, coming to grips. So this is not a person. What do we do now? They have the path completely blocked. Actually, Eves and the kids might still be stuck out there because of all these knockdown trees blocking the way. Even if it's not the most direct path, we should look for another way around. It's probably best if we split up into a few groups. Is it? Is it though? I mean, there's there's evil afoot. Hey, I got a stick. Have you found light, Eve? <laughs> Have you found lighter? Have you found Eve and the kids? Lighter? Are you sure you're in good enough shape to be out here? They're kind of chunky. I'm always in good enough shape. Don't treat me like some injured clod. Ah, I'm gonna beat this tree with my stick. We'll take care of things here. You keep pushing ahead, Clint. What are you guys doing? Is this... Is this beneficial? Does this make any sense? Are you making any progress here? You're just rubbing your faces on the tree. I suppose maybe after a few decades your faces might like wear down the tree or something. And then we can get through, but your faces will probably wear down quicker. Whatever. Alright, well let's get out of here. I'm getting blocked by the child. And we'll go the long way around as much as I think we should just climb over. Did I talk to you? This won't take long now that our boss is here. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Plus, Lou and I are experts when it comes to getting in the way. Uh -huh. Hey, hold on, we're not the ones in the way here. Oh. In in indeed you're not. Okay, well, this is not ideal. It seems that we are at an impasse. There's lots of knockdown things. This dude's staring in the corner. Oh, yeah. Jono and the others are gathered at the bottom of the cliff over there. Well, I wonder if something's happened. Yeah, it's a tree, dude. The tree happened. I hope Eve is all right. All right, Frogman, you're going to have to save my progress real quick, like, please, because it seems that we've made some amount of progress, which is worth saving for, right? As I've mentioned before, every time we can save, we should save. Gosh darn it. Okay, uh, this is maybe the base. Oh, this is the base of the cliff they were talking about. Okay. Well, all the forest critters are acting weird, and I'm suddenly getting real bad vibes here. Oh no, I mean that in a good way. What I meant to say, I'm getting good bad vibes, if that makes sense. Thump, thump. No, I have no idea what you mean by that. <laughs> well, it's just a guess, but I'd say a Drago climbed up from here. I mean, that looks like a good idea. That's what I was thinking, there was claw marks. See those claw marks? Those most certainly belong to a Drago. But why would a Drago claw at stuff like this enough to leave gashes and rock even? They're such peaceful creatures. I get the feeling something very bad is happening to the forest, the people, the animals, and me. Okay, well, that doesn't help me still. Oh, you, you smell something, boy. What do you, what do you smell? Uh, oh, back this way? You, you smell the wall. He's caught the scent of the sediment. What is it, Rat? Clint, I think Rat found something. He found a wall. Yeah, he's, he's very talented. Very good boy. He seems particularly concerned. Maybe we should, like, bash it? Like, run into it? Oh, oh, look up there. There's a scrap of cloth. Don't you see it? There's a bit of red right over there. Indeed, there is way up there, stuck on a dead tree. What is it? Is there something on top of this cliff? Old Man Wes, what are you doing here? Sorry to say, but there's nothing a rickety old man can do to help us out. 
Well, maybe there is. Let's talk to him. Let's get all the way on this side to talk to him. <laughs> oh, Clint. Don't tell me you intend to climb this cliff. I know how you feel, but scaling this cliff face is just too dangerous. But, you know, maybe my son could be of use. I don't know if it'll help any, but let's get him here so we can try. Okay. I'll need to borrow a rat for a bit. Okay, what is this, like, collateral? <laughs> I get your son, you get my dog. Rat, bring my son back here. My son's name is... Oh. We get a name, the son. The son's name is Tino. Come along, Sir Tino. His name is Tino. Got that? Here, have a sniff of this sock. Oh, that's ripe. Oh, don't, don't forget this smell now. Be sure to give it back. All right, that's my personal sock. Oh, the dog's gonna pass out. The fungus-filled sock was enough to drive the canine insane. He tied it around his neck. Oh, no. Or I've tied a yellow ribbon to your collar. Show him the ribbon. He'll know exactly what's going on. Now, Fitch! You can count on me. All right, Tino, we've got a, a, a code yellow or orange looked more like to me. Either which way, apparently Wes and his spawn have some sort of a color-based system for emergencies such as this. This color means we need you to climb something? Very good. I'm picking up the scent. S -s Smell the sock. Where are the socks? Scratching at a door, it looks like... Looks like Rat has found the home. Made his way inside. The boy is sleeping. There's presents everywhere, too. Good God. We're gonna have to, to go investigate that place. Those presents are for us. Those are our presents. Rat is dragging the lifeless body of Tino back through the forest. Truly a hard sleeper. In the rain, no less. I had to sleep in the rain a few times when I was in the army, and it did not... Did not work. <laughs> uh. Tino, at long last, it's time to put the thief skills you've studied since childhood to the test. Now show us your wall staple technique right here, right now. Uh, yeah, okay. I did, I did study that technique, but this is my first time using it for real. I hope this works. Meh, yeah, anyway. Oh, yeah, it's a wall, all right. Okay, we got one well, I should have brought my, my grappling hook. I really need a tie. This area looks scalable here. Ah! <laughs> Whoa, he's got claws. Oh, he is creating a ladder. Very nice. Well, isn't that convenient? Because that likely means that we'll be able to follow Tino on up. Flash forward a little bit. It looks like he's completed his ascent. All right, that should do it. Clint, be careful coming up. Very good. Thank you, boy. You can take that hideous scarf off now if you'd like. So we can climb. No, you wouldn't keep it on. Can you take this off, my dog? If those claw marks are from Drago, you'd best be careful. Alrighty, well, I thought the Drago were peaceful, right? So so why would we need to be, be wary? Uh-oh. Looks like the rain stopped. I have a slight leg handicap, but I'll do my best. Please, take me with you. Tino joined your party. Three's a crowd, look at that. Let's do some, some handy dandy status checking here. What have you got going for you, Tino? You're level eight, and you are the weakest member of the party by all measurements, it would seem. But you've got some equipment. Shoes are your weapon. Interesting. What are you, odd job? <laughs> mini, mini charm, Aries bracelet, and thief tools as the skill segment. Okay, that's right, because uh, Clint here has brute force where you can swing the stick and do all sorts of stuff, and thief tools. I'm curious to see what that is. In fact, we can press A. Oh, wall staples. Stick these in a wall for a quick ladder using battle to briefly pin an enemy down. Okay. 
Okay. Well, that's handy dandy. Let's go check this uh, cloth here. It's the same color as Eve's dress. Got a scrap of cloth. Sweet. And there's our amphibious friend here who's going to help us save the game. And then it looks like we have options. There's a cavern to our right, which is where I have to guess our family is. But then we can also go up this way a little bit. Hey, Clint, there's someone there. There's the pig people. What are they doing? What are those? Are they human? Oh, God. What are they doing? I don't know. It looks like a like an android deer they're working on. They don't seem too pleased to see us. <laughs> they're sweating and they're doing things and squealing. Oh my god! Oh, they're activating their machine. You're gonna make us fight that, aren't you? I already know. The cyborg deer. It's here. Our first boss fight, perhaps? A reconstructed caribou suddenly attacked. Man, look at that thing. Okay, well, let's use brute force. We'll take one turn to strengthen up. Then thief tools, wall staple, to pin it down. Should we do that? No, let's just get some damage done by Rat and Tino. A little bit there, a little something. Clint gathered his strength. Clint offense raised by seven, which is solid. And then we're just going to attack. He stabbed Clint with a horn. 20 damage is actually not insignificant. There we go. 40 damage, though, by Clint. Pretty solid. If we can continue doing that. I think we're going to kill this thing pretty soon. It went berserk. No, maybe don't do that. Maybe, maybe don't do that. Maybe refrain from going berserk. We can all drink some chamomile tea. It's going to be fine. There's no need to... No need to stress yourself out too much. You're going to kill my dog. The reconstructed car- Oh, God. No, no, no. My dog is dead. You killed my puppy. You killed my puppy. Maybe I didn't do this the best to, uh, the best way because Tino's about to die, too. Oh, God. Well, there we go. It's just Clint now. And Clint's about to die. To oh, we barely- Nope, we survived. The reconstructed car- We stopped moving. Barely, and we don't have any horns of life or anything that I remember from Earthbound that's going to revive these people. So I don't know what we're going to do to bring them back. Oh, and and they left. They're alive. They're here. They're not ghosts. Are you alive? What was the status? Uh, you all, they each have one. Maybe this is. Maybe they can't die. Maybe it's because this is like the tutorial still. Like this is still early game. Interesting. So they went they went up that way and we could pursue them, but I actually want to go check out this cave first, which we're actually going to do next time. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you then.